what do you see? Chris, I see empty storefronts. Sarah, what do you see? Well, I see an intersectionality of failed policies. Seattle Council members Sarah Nelson and Andrew Lewis both represent this part of town. <laughs> Now the center of a public safety crisis. It should not be a surprise. It is unsafe. Seattle's mayor said it this week. And heck, we've reported on it for years. It's been like a broken record. This was 2019, a dangerous game at the corner of Third and Pond. Yet now there are fewer officers and the issues involving downtown assaults, open air drug crime and retail theft are flaring up again. But do you think there is a connection between the loss of police officers and what we're seeing happen right now in the streets of Seattle? Yes, I think so because um, I think that physical presence is necessary. Right. But you were I mean, part of the council that, that looked to quote unquote defund the police. Yeah, well, I think that a better term for that would have been reform and reallocate based on what we actually did. And I think that what we're seeing right now is, you know, it's not going to be enough just to have police presence downtown, although that's necessary and that's part of it. What we also need to do is make sure we have programs in place like Just Care. We need to reform the police, but we also need to keep people safe. You can do both things. Yet they also acknowledge it is time to revisit a plan to spend real public and private money on the vision for a makeover first pitch by the Downtown Seattle Association since stalled by the health and economic crisis. But why is that not something that's that's been discussed? Or well, I think that now is, now is the perfect opportunity to look at old ideas, put forth new ideas. That's something the city can afford right now? Well, look, we were just we're, talking about that. We were just talking <laughs> about ways to do it, and, and we're talking to the mayor's office about it, because ultimately it's going to have to be a vision that the mayor's office is going to embrace and that they're going to want to implement, right? So everything's on the table. We're actually going to see change. Stay tuned. That Third Avenue vision that was pitched by the Downtown Seattle Association back in 2019 involves adding green space, adding trees to that heavy transit corridor, but that's going to take some energy. It's going to take some action. And what has happened here in the last week is at the front of minds for many already. Seattle Police Chief Adrian Diaz saying late this afternoon he's going to add non patrol personnel into that area to try and staff up to try and curb the violence. And we expect to hear more from Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell on this topic tomorrow. But that is the story for now. Live in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.